Welcome to the Window Wisdom Podcast, your guide to replacement windows and more. Hi, I'm Ted Kirk, your host, and this is episode seven. Today, we're going to be giving you an introduction to doors, and we have a special guest with us, Clint Mobley, who's our construction manager at North Georgia Replacement Windows. Clint, welcome to the show. Hey, Ted. Thanks for having me. Well, Clint, why are you the guy that we have here talking to us about doors today? Well, Ted, I've got about 17 years of construction experience. I've got 10 years of door experience. I've seen it all when it comes to doors. Great. Well, sounds like we got the right guy. Before we get into to our topic of doors today, I just want to give everybody a brief update. Uh, since the COVID-19 outbreak, we have not had a podcast. So this is our first one back. Um, I know you guys have probably got your fill of, of the news and, and everything, but just want to tell you how it's affected our business, but just mainly let you know that uh, we are here and we're taking all the safety precautions to keep our customers and our team members here safe. Um, you know, we tried to pause the business for a few weeks to, to do our part. We figured out pretty quickly that without uh, selling or installing any windows and doors that uh, this just didn't fit in with the plan. So we're back full steam ahead and uh, taking all the safety measures. Would that be an accurate statement, Clint? I'd say so, other than you getting a haircut. But Hey, working <laughs> on that. At least we're on a podcast. <laughs> so all the types of doors that we offer Offer here, they just they range from an entry door to patio door, sliding doors, French doors, bifolding doors, any specialty type door. We've got a lot of different options when it comes to doors. Clint, can you give the homeowners some helpful advice for those out there looking for new doors? Yes, yeah, so I'd say the very most important thing is picking the right product for the situation of what you're putting in. So what I mean by that is if your house is facing the sun, getting a lot of sun, it's very important that you're picking the right materials that will hold up in that sunlight over the years. That, that's important. Um, what about the installation side of things, Clint? Can you speak to some of the pitfalls of poor installations, some of the things that you've seen, and uh, specifically, um, you know, how we do it differently? Well, I mean, we could spend here for all the hours on hours for the what I've seen that's wrong with uh, how to put a door in. But basically, a door installation, it needs to be level, it needs to be true, it needs to be plumb, and it needs to be square. That's the most important part of putting a door in. Um, the, what we do different than what most people do different in the fields, uh, we use what we call a seal pan. We're flashing underneath the door. We're using all the right sealants with OSI sealants, basically really watertighting that door because the doors are made to leak over time. It can rot out your subfloors. It can cause some major damage, but we really take the time on sealing that pan, flashing tape first, and really sealing it up so if water ever gets in there, it has a way to get out and won't rot out your subfloor. So let's talk a little bit about the door construction. You know, doors are made from a lot of different materials. Uh, we primarily specialize in, in fiberglass because it does hold up to, to our heat and humidity here. We do some um, hand forged wrought iron um, type doors, um, a few clad options. We don't really recommend wood doors for our climate, um, but the other thing with doors is you got something besides the panel. You've got all the framing around it. So it's important to make sure that that part is also a low maintenance material as well. Um, with these different doors, you can get a variety of different finishes. Um, you mentioned, you know, protecting the door uh, surface. Obviously, that has a lot to do with the finishes. Can you speak to a little bit about, you know, what are the options and uh, what to expect when it comes to the finishes of the door? So there's a lot of different options you can do with the finish of the door. A lot of manufacturers can get you a, what they call a pre-finished door, meaning the manufacturer will pre-finish the door before we install it. But just knowing that going in, that there always will be touch-ups after we do a pre-finished door. Um, there's a lot of finishing that we do in-house that what we use is a gel stain if you want to stain. That's what's so great about fiberglass is, you know, if you're looking for that wood look of a front door, we can do that out of fiberglass and really give you that warmth feeling of a uh, stained door that, that you can get from wood. And that's what's so great about using the gel stain. Without having to deal with all those maintenance issues, exactly. insects, exactly. rock. Exactly. Yeah, good point. 
Um, before we we go, I I'd like to talk just a little bit about uh, warranties as well. And, you know, we talked a little bit about using the right materials, um, the door, um, the, the sealants, um, the proper procedures, uh, putting in the flashing systems underneath the seal pan that you refer to. And when you do everything right, then you're able to offer a extensive warranty. And, and I think this is really what separates us from a lot of our friends in the business where um, this is what we specialize in, replacement of windows and doors. So we want folks to do it right, do it one time, not have to fool with these projects over and over. So based on all these things that we do with these door systems and the type of doors that we offer, uh, we give a lifetime service warranty with our door systems. And, that, and that's tremendous. That means, you know, no trip charges. If, if there's ever a problem, we come out and we take care of that for free. Um, fortunately, with with doing the good quality, we don't see a whole lot of it. But well, you know, over time, doors have a tendency they might sag a little bit. Locks might wear down. That's that's what sets us apart. Is you know we're buying locks from a different manufacturer, a third party, and if that lock ever breaks, ever you know you can't lock your door. I mean, there's been times where I've had to be on a Saturday night. Uh, fixing a customer's house. I mean, that's just what really sets us apart in the services. Well, thank you, Clint. That about wraps it up today for our time. Uh, anything else you want to end with a door joke or anything? Well, I know I've already made fun of your hair and I don't tell knock knock jokes to blondes. Well, why is that? Well, they always leave to go answer the door. Wow. <laughs> Well, that about wraps it up for today. We'll try to do better on episode eight.